Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the shiny only Fire Mall type run of Fire Red Canto Complete. Last time, we defeated Team Rocket the Sylph Company and kicked some ass at the Fighting Dojo. However, based on the level curve of the last segment, I'm pretty sure I'm not ready to fight Sabrina, so we're going to Fusion City next. But first, we gotta get this fat ass out of the way. Okay. That'll do. Now, just spam! Nope. Second try. Now, what am I gonna call you? We'll call you Toru. The character from a cartoon from when I was a kid. On the upper floor of the gate leading to Cycling Road, now we talk to one of Professor Oates' aides, and we get the amulet coin, I think. Yeah, so that'll just help us get some more money. Anyways, now we just gotta get on the bike. Oh, give me a second! I completely forgot about the fucking bike. Now, you don't actually need the bike, you could just go the other way, but... Cycling Road is a lot faster. Once more with feeling! I'm gonna go on through. And, hmm, who are we gonna take on these guys with? What? Since when was overheat a contact move? That shouldn't... What? Did you use Thunder Wave or... Whatever. No. Alright, now we can start going down Cycling Road. I think there are some items hidden here, I just can't remember where they are. Oh, and you can't use the item finder on Cycling Road anyway. Okay, so... You're a rebel, huh? Well... I didn't have a joke for that. I thought I did, but nah. Pro tip, a joke is like a fart. If you have to force it, it's probably shit. Yeah, bikers do rule the road, until they come head-to-head -head with a pickup truck. Seriously, I, I mean, look, I get it. It's dangerous if, if you're on a motorcycle, because... People don't always look in their mirrors and check where you are, but if you're weaving in and out of traffic and you expect not to be hit, well, I'm afraid I have some bad news.
And the bad news is that when you play chicken with a heavier vehicle, the heavier vehicle wins by default. Now we just go up here. And up here, I believe this guy offers a trade. Golduck. Uh, ooh, Meganium. Cool. Well, I don't have a Golduck, so sorry, kiddo. Otherwise, I would gladly take him at me. My first Pokemon game was actually Gold version, and I started with Chikorita. Okay. Let's take on these guys. Oh, fuck off! Fuck you! Spammy piece of shit! Yeah, that's what I thought, dipshit! Yeah, he did! Was it worth it, fucker? Anyways, we finally make it to Fusion City. And, well, the layout of the town has changed. Namely, they got rid of that annoying-ass ledge and moved the Pokemon Mart down here. Good. Okay, uh... I already have a bunch of those. Get a bunch of full heals while we're at it. And in here is the move to leader. It's that old guy on the right. And here, well, you'll need to get the gold teeth of the Safari Zone. This is normally where you get the good rod, but of course, no one's here. So I guess that answers that question. Now, the question is is there anything else? where the Pokemon Mart was. Give me a second. Okay, cut this down, see what's up here. Uh, I guess not. The Mart's... Nope, they didn't replace the Mart with anything. There's no special stores here, as far as I can tell. So, uh, well, in that case, I guess let's just go and take on the gym. No, we're not playing that game. Well, fuck you too. Well, fuck off! Anyways, be right back. And we're back. Oh yeah, they still have the maze intact. Okay, it's very hard to see the the, uh, the walls. I imagine it's even harder if you were actually. Yeah, it was even harder when you played on the original hardware. Of course, now you can zoom in on stuff like Visual Boy Advance. Well, it's easier to see. It's still a little faint, but it's there. Whoops. Oh, fuck off! Smartass! Anyways, I will be right back again. So now here we are about to take on Koga. 
gym leader and future Elite Four member. He's not kidding, actually. Poison types are better than you might think in Gen 3. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, nice try. Well, fuck you, too. Nope, we're not playing that game. Well, that was fast. I mean, not surprising, Koga usually isn't that difficult. Annoying! Very annoying, but not difficult. Might be why it took him so long to get to join the Elite Four, because they're like, eh, well, you're not that great. But then again, they let Bruno be in it, and that guy's a fucking idiot. In fact, they promoted him, they made him third in line. He was second in Gen 1. Anyways, uh, let's see, how much time have we been recording for? Okay, so, less than 12 minutes. Yeah, we could squeeze in the Safari Zone, too. This is probably still gonna be a rather short episode, but... Oh. This section of the game is usually pretty fast, anyway. <clears throat> okay. So now... We gotta take the fastest route to get there. Granted, the step counter is actually pretty generous. In fact, you can get, I think, most of the items in one go and still make it. Hmm. Nah. Ooh, Shedinja! You know what? I'm gonna catch that. Just for- just as it can. Nope. What's TM09? That's, uh, Bullet Seed. Not a bad grass move for Gen 3. Alright, well we're gonna call you... We're naming it after the band, not the other thing. I did actually encounter a shiny Beedrill in one of my playthroughs. Not a monotype, though. It was my playthrough of Fire Red Rocket Edition. So I actually ended up with a shiny Beedrill on my team for the rest of the game. It was actually kind of fun. Oh, speaking of shinies... That's, uh... That's ugly, to be honest. Oh, another lucky egg. Is there anything up here? Right, now? Yeah, I, I know I'm wasting steps, but I'm going through this to get all the items as well. And if I have to, to do it again, no big deal. It's only 500 yen a pop. Oh, Black Belt. That's, uh, boost your fighting type attacks. You know what? Actually, yeah, I gotta give that to you. Because, quick break. Yeah, we're gonna need to go through this again, but that's fine by me. Energy Root, so that's basically a Hyper Potion makes your Pokémon not like you as much. I'm catching Pokémon that are from the Kanto decks, because there's, I think there's one more item I could get. 
Uh, I know, not very creative. We're gonna call you twins. And may wonder, well, how the hell does it fly? The answer is, uh, by kicking its legs really fast. You know what, we're gonna catch some Pokemon while, uh, fishing real quick. Might as well use up the rest of these balls. Ooh, Dratini! Get in the ball, 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 get in the ball! Nope. gonna use it the rest of these balls and then we'll do it again to get what we actually came here for. Alright, well hmm Alright, try again. There we go. All right. Now, round two. All right. Now, I'm going to skip ahead until we get to closer to where we need to go. Well, if it isn't my shiny bee drill from the Fire and Rocket Edition playthrough. Hmm. What did I nickname you in that playthrough again? Just to prove that I'm not bullshitting you, here is the Beedrill from that particular uh, ROM Hacks playthrough. Back in an alternate universe, we're gonna name it after my player character from, from Rocket Edition, Gagarin. Oh, yeah, by the way, we found TM17 here, which is, uh, I think it's Protect? Come on. Yes, protect. Okay, so moving on. There's iron. Ooh, Tokapi. Sure. Nope, not this time. And there's one of two items we need to get over here. Your skill swap, which is situationally useful, especially if you got yourself a Shedinja in a double battle. And this guy gives you Surf. So anyways, I guess we're just going to use the rest of our balls and then we'll call it an episode. Nope. Ooh! Nah, damn it. No. Eh, okay, well. Didn't get the shiny, but we'll get this one instead. No. We want you to be... Well, you're not a sea king, you're a sea queen. It's female, you see. Found, found another Dratini by now. Guess not. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go to the grass instead. Eh. Toilet bird!
Good, now I have something that can surf and fly! Wait, no, I already have one of those. Big skitter. Seems to be mostly bug types in this version of it. Oh wait, yeah, I already, I already got one. Never mind. And I think we're gonna call here. So, if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and uh, I will see you all next time.